welcome to the post apocalyptic garage. Today I'm going to show you how you camouflage your rifle with spray paint. So this particular rifle is a Ruge American chambered in 308 Winchester. It has a 2.5 to 10 times magnification on it, a Zeiss optic, variable optic. We've also mounted a red dot holographic sight on the side for just for quick target acquisition or when the target is moving. This rifle is my workhorse. I do a lot of hunting with it and I want to camouflage it so it shades a little better in, in the regions where we go hunting. So if you own a rifle with some moving parts in the trigger, like here on the Ruger, the trigger safety, or if you have a Savage uh, Echo trigger, you just want to cover the whole trigger group so that nothing comes in there and blocks anything of the functions. If you have just a plain trigger and all of the working components are on the inside, it just helps to spray from up to down or from the top to the bottom, so you will get no dust or something in the mechanics. This step it's really important to lay out um, a pattern which is diagonal to the line of the rifle because you want to break up the lines of the rifle a little bit to uh, camouflage it in a little better and you can have a little bit more color by taking the spray can as near as possible to the rifle and you can have a little bit lighter colors by taking it far away. The most important thing is that you have a layer of color, not an even layer, but a layer of a little bit more color, a little bit less color over the entire rifle for the first time. spray cans or any type of uh, spray guns, you have to look for a slick motion across the whole workpiece. You have to start before the workpiece and have to end after the workpiece, because if you start or stop on the workpiece, you have much more color in one spot than in the other spot and it will look not even. find details on the pattern we are going to use this fern. It's December now and it's really hard to get uh, other things like this but it will do for our job.
So that's it for today and if you're interested in more gun related stuff on our channel check out the info box, I've linked every video you might be interested in. If you want to see more about this particular gun let me know in the comments below, leave us a like, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see us next time.